So this is a beautiful Manhattan skyline. It's beautiful. I just took the ferry from Manhattan, which is what I'm showing you, uh, back here to Queens. But I actually took all the stops along the river, which was the best $4 investment I have ever made. So the skyline is amazing, but I'm gonna talk about four buildings in the skyline. So the first one is the UN headquarters, which is this rectangle building. It was finished in 1952 and it is entirely UN territory so it means that it is not officially recognized as the US government territory and it's also a place where I work now on the 20, 26th floor I have an amazing view on the Queens which is here these are the new condominiums which from which you can have a this amazing view on Manhattan that I'm showing you and the lucky ones who live here and work on the other side can take this ferry all the way to Manhattan otherwise they can also take the subway so it's, it's not that difficult to get there so the second building I want to talk about is this building it's it's the Chrysler building. The Chrysler building was finished in 1930 and it was the seat of the Chrysler Corporation until the 1950s. The interesting thing about that is that Mr. Chrysler, the, the owner, uh, paid for this building by himself. It was not the corporation that paid, but he himself built it and so that his children could inherit the, the building. The Chrysler building was the tallest building in New York from 1930 until 1931 when this beautiful building was built. This is the famous Empire State Building. So the Empire State Building, finished in 1931, was the tallest building until the 1970s when the twin, uh, when the twins, when the World Trade Center was built. And then when it was destroyed, again in when well, it was destroyed in 2001 again Empire State Building became the tallest building on Manhattan so the top roof has about three 380 meters and then you would add about 80, 80 more meters with the antenna interestingly when the World Trade Center was destroyed the Chrysler building became again the second tallest building in New York. Later, the, an, another, another building, the Bank of, Bank of America, was, was, was built. Many people say that this Chrysler building is actually the most beautiful skyscraper in uh, New York because it's a beautiful example of the so-called Art Deco architecture. And the last skyscraper I want to talk about is the famous One World Center or what some people call the Freedom Tower. It's basically the place where where the terrorist attacks of 2001 caused the, the collapse of the two towers and now instead of the two towers there is one um, called One World Center, which has about almost 500 meters, fi I think it's 540 meters uh, tall, 
And the distinct thing is that the ar architect Daniel Child is also the architect of the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa in um, in Dubai, which actually I visited about a month ago. So that's it. I'm gonna try to make a beautiful selfie. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.